Hello everyone, this is Mwesu Gamugwa Bosco, the head teacher wisdom center, Karumuna, that is the Bugisa district. Uh, I'm glad that this time I'm back, that uh, we go on uh, with our usual lessons. But still before starting, yes, remember uh, in this period uh, to be safe, COVID is, is real, okay? Uh, in this thing, we can't forget to thank the government uh, for this time added that you stay home Yes, this is for your safety. So it's very good to acknowledge that. Uh, and that's why I have to advise at this moment that uh, please uh, take caution. Yes, uh, uphold the measures that the government puts in place, like uh, washing hands with water, uh, sanitizing your hands, okay? Uh, keeping social distance. This is very important and rest. So we need to uh, take care, make sure that uh, we uh, uphold or put in in place to go by the measures put in place for the government to curb to stop uh, the spread of coronavirus we hope uh, to move on well yeah so at uh, this time today we are looking at a topic simply yes uh, uh, simply about germination okay yes so let us go ahead and see how we can go about this uh, yes so uh, last time Specifically, uh, we looked at, uh, yes, uh, plant reproduction, yeah, where we looked at uh, uh, different uh, types of reproduction, also asexual reproduction and, and sexual reproduction in plants. And uh, all those gave us a way forward that this time uh, we can simply move ahead and look at uh, germination. Yes, we want to see uh, immediately how can the seeds, okay, uh, germinate, grow, okay? Uh, let's say turn into into the seedlings. Yes, so this is very important. Uh, uh, looking at this, we can uh, look at a way that uh, investigating germination of seeds, finding out. Okay, you want to find out all about germination in the seeds. So what takes place? So what's required for our seeds to germinate? Uh, so uh, looking at point one, uh, we say I can see. We can look at this. We can say plant some beans. Or maize seeds uh, in a tin or box because we need to see this to do this because if you do it we will really observe uh, this process of germination taking place you see how it takes place uh, and then uh, having put your yes having that step we can also say uh, water yes they planted seeds for one week as you observe what happens yes so this can actually help us to see how we can go about uh, this process of germination uh, yes, so you can look at the picture here. You see, yes, uh, these are school pupils. You can see, uh, yes, they have planted their seeds in a, in a box or in a tin, you can see. And then uh, after some time, yes, these seeds germinate, you can see the younger plants here. But remember, they are watering here. Yes, they plant and then they at least provide water these plants, or uh, these seeds. So you see, after a given time, these seeds had to germinate, okay? You can see the younger plants here. Um, and then, so uh, from this, we can simply look at uh, a simple definition of germination. And then we shall move ahead and uh, look at uh, the practical, uh, the, the, the process of germination. Uh, majorly, uh, we can define germination as the process by which a seed develops into a seedling. Yes, somebody also can simply uh, say that uh, germination, the process by which a seed turns into a younger plant. That's all a uh, way of uh, defining uh, germination. So when a seed, the process by which a seed develops into a seedling, this simply, yes, gives us clear understanding of uh, the term germination. Yeah, right from primary uh, four, yes, basically primary four, you look at this, uh, five, look at this. So it's uh, not something new to us, not strange, okay, in this time. So uh, this, having defined about, uh, yes, term germination, we need to have another term here that is a seedling. Simply, we look at a seedling. What's a seedling? A seedling simply is a younger plant, okay? The plant that, that, that has just developed it. Uh, from the seeds, that's a young plant, a seedling. You can simply look at this. These are seedlings. You can see them, okay? Because uh, these pupils planted 
and there are seats in the boxes here these ones here you can see and then kept on watering or providing water at given intervals okay and then uh, at the end they found their plants when uh, they have at least germinated so these are seedlings the younger plants uh, and so uh, having defined the term germination as the process by which a seedling uh, develops into by which a seed develops into a younger plant or a seedling yes we need to see what are the conditions necessary for germination to take a place what should be there for our seeds to germinate uh, majorly uh, if these seeds okay are viable uh, for germination meaning they have uh, the conditions or the capacity to germinate uh, that means uh, we need to see which are the conditions majorly since we can germinate properly they need the following conditions we need to provide water these plants okay water is one of the conditions of germination uh, we need to provide oxygen yes they can ask you which gas is important in germination or helps or enables seeds to germinate that's oxygen and then we also need warmth majorly one can say temperature yes a minimum temperature okay this is very important uh, for germination we shall go ahead looking at uh, other conditions okay yes where you can talk about uh, uh, the nature of the seeds okay yeah, because if the seeds are not viable, or viability of the seeds, you find that if not viable for germination, they can't germinate, uh, even if you provide uh, the conditions. Okay, yeah, that uh, also be another point about uh, seed viability. Uh, so uh, with this, uh, we need to look at uh, an experiment. Yes, on the conditions necessary for seed to germinate, because when we talk of water oxygen and warmth majorly or temperature we want to see yes uh, if we provide uh, let's say some of the conditions and uh, not don't provide all will the seed germinate so this is going to help us to look at different uh, uh, samples of seeds uh, given the conditions and some missing the conditions so an experiment simply i uh, will look at a, a practical yes workout to see if uh, given the conditions what happens to our seeds okay so for in this what will you need uh, you need at least there are four containers uh, cotton wool or just cotton we need uh, some viable and non-viable cowpeas okay uh, we shall look at a uh, majorly viable seeds viable seeds simply means the seeds which are able to germinate in case given possible conditions uh, this we shall look at those terms as the seed viability and the seed dormancy. Then for those non-viable seeds, so those which, cannot, which can't germinate, or even if given the conditions, this will be given the term as uh, seed dormancy, shall we say that. And uh, so uh, when we have this, and then you need to have uh, a cupboard, also as another kind of uh, required of the setup, things we need here. So we then let us now go ahead, having got all these, collecting, okay, having the containers, uh, the cotton or cotton wool, having uh, seeds which can germinate, those which can't germinate, which are non-viable, uh, and then having our cupboard, we can look at the procedure. We see, okay, steps. Uh, so step number one, uh, we shall take our four containers and mark them A, B, C, and D. Uh, as follows uh, okay uh, we shall uh, okay as we mark so we are saying with a dry cotton wool okay now with a with a dry cotton wool okay then say b c d b then so we said a with dry cotton wool or cotton uh, B, C, and D with the moist cotton wool. Moist with meaning mo having moisture. This is like water. And then uh, number two, we shall uh, place okay three to four viable or healthy cowpea seeds at the top of cotton wool. Okay, in containers A, B, 
B, okay, and D, okay. Uh, and none viable or unhealthy seeds in container C. Yes, when you go to part number of three, we shall do this. We shall place containers A, B, and C in sufficient light and air, meaning with enough light and air. That is A, B, and C. We shall put them, okay, in enough light and, and air. Remember, for C, which is here, it is having non viable seeds. And then we go to part four, we shall place container D in a cupboard. Okay? Container D uh, will be in a cupboard, though it will be having the viable seeds, which are able to germinate. Then uh, um, part five, you shall observe them daily, at least for four days. Let's say all three to four days. Yeah. So then we can now we shall look at the discussing the findings after doing all this. We can see uh, the, our observations. Simply, what we shall find out here, we will like to find out that uh, after three to four days, you may observe that seeds in the container A, C, and D, okay, uh, remain unchanged. And seeds in the container B have germinated. So let us look at this in this corner and see if still we should uh, a, C, and D will remain unchanged. And remember, A and B, they are viable seeds. Okay? Sorry, A and C. Yes, they are viable seeds. Yes, including B, which has generated. But you'll find that for A and C to D will remain unchanged. Uh, okay? So, uh, let us move ahead and, and look at uh, yes, these findings. Yes, find out why. We are saying we shall find that, uh, uh, we shall find out majorly, yes, these seeds we shall find out in A, okay, uh, in C and D. They will remain unchanged. So we need to see why. Why would this happen? Yeah, looking at these containers, we say that we need to have at least four, okay, of them. Container A, part A, here we have B. We have C and then D, okay? Uh, and then with these containers, we make sure that uh, uh, container A here, B, C, up to D, we have the sunlight here, which is providing light all throughout here. But remember, of course, light can't enter the cupboard, but the light is there provided. So we put them outside in the presence of the sunlight to have light. Uh, or warmth from there. So here, look at seeds in the container A. Seeds with no moisture. Meaning here, we have, okay, light and heat, probably from the sun. And then, these seeds here, they are put uh, in, uh, in a moist cotton wool, meaning, uh, sorry, in cotton wool, this, in, this, in this case, no moisture. The cotton wool is just dry. And then the seeds. So in this case, we have air, okay? We have warmth, but we have no moisture. One C, if the seeds will germinate. Look at uh, in B here, viable seeds, seeds which are able to germinate. In this case, these seeds are provided with, it. Uh, we have put cotton with the moisture, mean that there's water there. And then uh, there's light, or, and then heat from the sun. Uh, so we can see. And then when we move to container C, we see that these seeds are provided with water because the, there is cotton wool with which is moist. You can see there is moisture. But in this case here, the seeds are non viable. Not able to, they are not, they are not uh, viable, not able to germinate. So we are going to see. Uh, these seeds may be their dormant, which you call dormant. So looking at uh, this part, uh, container D, we have see the container D inside the cupboard. So we have put our container D in the cupboard. That's why you can see uh, there is light and heat, but heat, light and light can't reach, or the warmth from, warmth from sunlight, from the sun, can't reach properly inside the cupboard. Uh, so we can see this. 
So looking at these uh, containers, you can see that in B here, they're germinating. These seeds are developing into the seedlings. You can see the roots have begun developing. These ones, you check here in A, they remain the same. In C, the same. Even here in D, once you open, these seeds have remained the same. Uh, simply, you can see that these ones are provided with all the conditions. Okay? In B, we have warmth is there given. We have water because moisture from cotton wool. Okay? And then warmth around from the sun. Uh, so, uh, looking at this, that's the discussion here. We're saying container A received suitable, suitable temperature and oxygen but no moisture. You see? Uh, in container C, received suitable temperature, oxygen and moisture, which is water. But seeds were not viable, meaning not able to germinate. Okay? Uh, and then, not ready for germination. Then, part D, corner D, we say, did not receive stable temperature through throughout. Okay? Uh, although it had oxygen and moisture, but had no stable temperature for germination. And then here, only container B received received suitable temperature, oxygen, and moisture with the viable seeds or seeds ready for germination. These conditions help the seeds in the container B to germinate. Simply you can see here in the container B, it received enough or stable temperature, okay? Uh, where you can so somebody can say warmth. Uh, we had oxygen and water. These major four important conditions for germination we are there. So this gave the chance or the ability these seeds to germinate because they were also able to, they were also viable seeds. So uh, in conclusion here we can say oxygen, water and the temperature or stable temperature are necessary conditions for viable seeds to germinate. So meaning when seeds are viable uh, they are able to germinate or they have the ability to germinate these seeds can easily germinate. In the case, they are given oxygen, water, uh, and uh, oxygen, water, and warmth, which is stable temperature. Yes. Now, this can push us to these two terms uh, from, uh, uh, can give us the, these two terms uh, from our findings. We have been talking about uh, viability of viable seeds. Okay, uh, so we can look at uh, this, which you can simply refer as seed viability. Okay. Yes, so simply when we talk about seed viability here, uh, we look at, uh, we simply look at uh, uh, the ability of the seed to germinate. Okay, when given possible conditions for germination. So, uh, seed viability is, uh, is this ability, simply the ability of seeds, okay, uh, of seeds to germinate when given. Possible conditions for germination. Yeah, we are simply uh, looking at these two terms majorly. We can have this as uh, term A here. Okay. Yeah, we are saying the first point here. So we have a uh, look at this term here, seed viability. We are saying uh, simply is the ability of seeds to germinate when given possible conditions for germination. What do you mean here? Uh, yes, uh, you're feeling that there are seeds which can't uh, germinate. Shall look at that as part two or part B. So in this case, 
Uh, seed viability look at seeds which are which have the ability to germinate they are able to germinate uh may let's say they, they are they are they are not rotten uh or spoilt talk over the tester maybe the or the seed coat is is not all that hard they can easily germinate so uh, those are conditions which can prevent to germinate sometimes you can have water warmth and oxygen but finding the seeds let's say are spoiled when the seeds let's say they have got hard seed coats Okay, or tester which can't burst or break to split, to open, to allow the radical come out and the plume. So for this case, uh, seeds which have, which, are, which have the, uh, the ability to germinate, we can simply refer to that condition as seed viability. The ability of seeds to germinate when given possible conditions for germination, like water, oxygen, and warmth which is sometimes referred to as temperature and then uh, for this case can check a uh, look at part b here uh, in part to part b yes we have another term which is seed dormancy okay seed dormancy seed dormancy uh, simply uh, this term uh, we can pick it from uh, our our containers we're looking at. We found that some seeds some seeds don't germinate. Okay, they were non-viable. So non-viable seeds uh, we can infer this condition as seed dormancy. So seed dormancy can be uh, the condition when seeds cannot germinate, even if given possible conditions for germination. Yeah, we shall look at what could be the cause of this uh, condition. Uh, simply. Simply uh, the condition when seeds okay when seeds cannot germinate germinate even if given. possible conditions for germination yes so as uh, we are saying that uh, for seed dormancy simply uh, is the condition where seeds cannot germinate even if given possible conditions for germination so it's like they are dormant okay just like as uh, you find that look at uh, in look at an sst talking about the the dormant volcanoes you find that uh, they don't they don't yes they, they don't erupt so simply so you can pick that idea and bring to science here find that uh, these seeds are dormant they can't do anything so they can't germinate simply this can uh, uh, be uh, as a result of different conditions let's say uh, maybe the seed coat or the tester is very hard, can't split. Uh, check on uh, the seeds. Also, still, uh, they might be spoiled, or rotten seeds. So, planting such seeds, they can't, yes? Oh, these seeds are, let's say, they are very tiny. Yes, so you find that uh, it, it requires more other features for them to germinate. So, majorly, it becomes hard for them to germinate. So, in this case, we refer to the uh, non-viable seeds as seed dormancy and then the viable seeds as seed viability simply seed viability uh, seeds are the bit of, the, of seeds to germinate when given the possible conditions for germination and then seed dormancy the build the condition when seeds cannot germinate even if given possible conditions for germination like yeah remember we talked of water which is moisture talk of air which part of air that is oxygen specifically oxygen and then uh, a warmth or temperature so these are very important key points for seeds to germinate uh, so uh, we can uh, still uh, move on having looked at uh, the conditions for germination and uh, coming back here we are we can draw a conclusion that uh, seeds can germinate okay when given oxygen water and suitable temperature or temperature okay 
when uh, uh, they are viable seeds, so these seeds, if they are viable seeds, meaning if they have the capability, the ability to germinate, okay, which we have referred to seed viability, the other side, that means these seeds given water, oxygen, and a suitable temperature or warmth, these seeds will germinate. Uh, and that's why uh, in container B, let us go back and check on container B. Yes, yeah. We are saying that in the container B seeds germinate. Can I ask you why did the seeds germinate in the container B? Simply here in the container B here, uh, seeds at least got uh, the viable temperature or warmth, okay? And then these seeds still got moisture, which is water here. Uh, these seeds, if you check, they have oxygen because here they are left op uh, open, okay? Oh, just this, can you see? In water there is oxygen and still air can enter as open, okay? So there are many, these, all these have air, if you can check, because still in water there is also air. So these seeds had enough air, which is oxygen. Uh, these seeds had uh, moisture, which is water, had warmth, which is temperature, stable temperature. That's why they were able to germinate. So you can simply see uh, seeds in the container be germinated because uh, they had uh, oxygen, viable temperature, and warmth. And then they were viable seeds. So this is majorly they were able to germinate. Uh, that's why we can also add viability as the fourth point. They can ask you which are the fa give four factors. It's very common because majorly you find that you are told three points for germination, talk of water, warmth, and oxygen. So when you get sometimes it ask you give four conditions for germination. So you can also add the acidic viability. It's very important. If it's viable, they have the capability. It's very important they can be able to germinate but uh, this is very important once we miss one of the conditions you see this can't germinate yes so that means we need to pre to make sure that we have at least three conditions and then when asked for you can add the fourth one as seed viability uh, so we can move ahead and look at uh, types of germination so having uh, looked at uh, uh, seed Germination, looking at the conditions, okay? We need to check on the types of germination. Yes, we see uh, how these seeds germinate in different ways, okay? There are those who germinate leaving the cotyledonies below the ground. Uh, some of them, uh, their, 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 their cotyledonies appear above the ground. So I have to see, uh, look at the different type, types of germination. So simply, uh, there are two types of germination, though we can also have the third one, uh, which can be... Uh, Viviparity or viviparous germination, meaning combining both of them majorly can, but majorly uh, for our level here, let us check on two types of germination specifically. Yes, uh, these types of germination here uh, look at epigil germination and then hypogil germination. Right from lower primarily, you've been looking at the types of germination. Okay, I know you've been meeting this. So, uh, what we can do here. Simply, uh, we look at uh, one by one, okay? Yes. Uh, firstly, and foremost, uh, the epigil germination. So, we can simply define epigil germination as a type of germination where the cotyledons appear above the ground, okay? So, the seed will germinate with the cotyledons above the appearing above the ground. This is simply an indicator, okay? That uh, it is... Uh, uh, an epigermination. So looking at the structures here, we can see the diagram below shows epigeal germination. Check here. This is an example like a bean seed, okay? Or bean seeds, you see here. Here they are put in soil. We talked of like a three to four days, you see they will begin uh, bringing the, the radicals, okay? So if you can observe from, let's say from like three, okay, looking at the seventh day, you will be seeing up to this stage. Yes. So uh, these seeds, you can see, they were planted, and then you can see the here at this level here, here the, it began developing uh, the roots, okay, uh, coming out, you can see the cotyledon appearing, getting out of the ground, okay, which can, uh -huh, or which can refer this to the part of a hypocotyle, 
appearing above okay or oh, this can be can refer to hypoctyle so then you can see here this specifically cotyledon these appearing imagine there so you can see them uh, as uh, we grow it goes up you can see the part ge getting to uh, the part of the shoot which is growing giving the epicotyle majorly here check look at uh, these cotyledons these two okay they have appeared above the ground from this step here you can see getting out as they as these go on so reaching like a seventh day that's one week going for the second week you can see uh, your plants are growing or keep on growing but immediately as they germinate the cotyledons will appear above the ground this simply referred to epigeal germination so check on examples of seeds that can germinate with their cotyledons above the ground here we can have uh, like uh, uh, beans, which is very common. So yeah, beans, talk of peas, uh, granuts, uh, purple seeds, or the papaya, uh, talk of sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, uh, watermelon, name it. Yes, you can observe, try to get seeds, okay? Uh, uh, put them, yes. Uh, put them in a boxes, okay, or you can get the containers get simply get the containers at home uh, get uh, Some of the containers like as we looked at last time put some uh, Which are able to germinate those which are good on good conditions put them wrap with them or put them in the cotton Which is which is moist put them outside where light can easily reach or heat minimum temperature Yes, you will see how they're germinating. Make sure you have different seeds, at least if you have beans, okay? Uh, so your beans, then you get other seeds like maize seeds to, to help you to see different types of germination. So for this case, we are saying beans, so your beans, uh, peas, granuts, uh, the purple seeds, which is papaya, which is papaya, a uh, check of sunflower, pumpkin seeds, uh, watermelons, uh, and many others. Yes, these ones majorly they will germinate, coming out or appearing with the uh, the cotyledons above the ground. So uh, the, this uh, appearance of cotyledons will simply uh, give us a clear indicator that these are uh, seeds that undergo epigeal germination. So you can simply you'll be asked which type of germination is shown here. Simply check on the cotyledons appearing above the ground. That is a uh, epigeal germination. And then the other side will be the hypogeal germination. In this case, we simply say that uh, germination is a germination, type of germination, where the cotyledons remain below the ground. Simply, they don't appear above the ground. Check on this structure here, this diagram. You can see, are we using an example of the maize seed in this case? Okay? These maize seeds, you can see, uh, they are put in soil. Uh, you can see after some times, after some time you can see our uh, radicals appear, then uh, the cotyledon, this here, okay, uh, majorly will remain in the ground. Check here, this is the cotyledon, okay. You see here in this case, you can see uh, which are, uh, the part here, you can see here the cotyledon, this part will remain in the ground, okay and see uh, the leaves or the, 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 the shoot will begin coming out, okay? Yeah, which this time we are referring to the, uh, yes, the, the, uh, <coughs> the cleptile, okay? So you can see appearing, moving up, and then giving us shoots and the leaves here, the foliage leaves. So simply here, uh, you can see that the cotyledon, okay, re remain below the ground. Uh, and then our uh, only shoot, appears above the ground will come out so this case in this case where you see only a shoot appearing above the ground we say it's a type of germination called or referred to hypogeal germination simply hypogeal germination look at the signs what will show this a hypogeal germination check how seeds are germinating simply if cotyledons remain below the ground that is a hypogeal germination and uh, this can push us to the examples of seeds with hypogermination. So we can look at, uh, majorly, uh, majorly look at uh, the cilius crops, okay? Uh, seeds, crops which have got grains, like majorly maize, uh, 
millet, sorghum. These are very important specifically. Yeah, they are f uh, for hypogermination. You can also add coconut. So when these germinate, they will leave the core. They don't build the ground. So please check more. Check on the mango seeds and other seeds. When they're germinating, will the seed come up or remain below the ground? If it remains below the ground, please, that will be simply uh, hypogermination. So at home, when you buy, let's say, uh, purpose, they bring a purpose, mommy, daddy brings purpose, for it, eat, okay, brings mangoes, uh, different seeds, okay? You have beans. Yes, please try put in different containers out, okay? Yes, you can even put them in soil if you don't use containers. You can dig and put them in soil where you can also be watering them. Observe them, okay? At least for a week. Because within teens, just three to four days, you're able to, that's why it's very easy for you. But in case you put in soil, you have to observe them over at given days, like uh, four days and above. So for this case, you'll easily observe uh, these types of germination. Remember, uh, that in hypogeogermination, cotyledons are be, are, are remain below the ground, and for the case of hypo of epigeal germination, cotyledons appear above the ground. Uh, yes, so uh, simply you can check through, observe the stages of germination. As we said, okay, uh, you should, you have to take a small plastic jar and do that. This is your activity. Please do this. You go into this activity uh, of identifying stage of, uh, these stages of germination. How would this germinate? Take a small plastic jar or, or a jug, just a plastic jug. Fill it with the soil, okay, at home. Take viable seeds like a bean seed which is able to germinate or maize seed and place it into soil jar of the jar. On that jar we have put soil because you may not accept access cotton. So just place this, place soil in those plastic jug uh, and then the place they are your put in your seeds keep the jar in a bright air place okay then sprinkle water every day and observe what not make sure that soil is always damp meaning wet not dry yes and the seed uh, the seed needs water to grow so make it always damp that is always wet uh, so from that case, you'll identify the following stages. You'll see this. You'll find that uh, uh, in stage one here, the seed will not be like this, appearing without germinating. Just one container will be enough for you, my friend. Yes, so uh, at the second time, you'll see stage two to begin bring out, okay, the radical. And then stage three, you see uh, the radical will develop into the root, which will grow into root system. And then uh, the premium, the upper part, Will develop into shoot which brings out the shoot system then here at stage four you'll see that uh, uh, your plant will now be growing steadily growing developing leaves okay so there will be four stages which you observe in germination in a summary we'll see that uh, uh, stage one the seed absorbs water through the tiny hole that hole is called a micropile look at that as look at the part of the seed then at swells once swells okay uh, yes the seed coat will simply eat. that's our first step the seed absorbs water and swells stage two if after it has absorbed water and uh, swollen then it splits stage two uh, the radical comes out okay to form a tiny, a tiny root, meaning radical, they can ask you of the radical and the shoot which comes out first. It's the radical which forms the root system. Then in stage three, you will see that the plumule forms a shoot or which is shoot system forming leaves above the ground. Okay, so the second, we shall see that uh, as stage three, uh, the root system, shoot system will come up forming, okay, leaves, the stems all pass above the ground. And then uh, last stage here, uh, the swelling, all the seedling, sorry, grows to become a mature plant. That's the four, per last stage. So these stages will be able to help you as you observe your seeds to you go through these all four these stages. So this bring us, brings us to the end of our lesson today. 
But uh, you're left with the questions to go through. Revision questions, okay? This review exercise, please, uh, you can get this, uh, do this in your book. We have been looking at different uh, areas in uh, about plants. They can germ come to germination specifically. So you have a number of questions for you here. So please, yes, let me go back here. You see, check through here. And then more questions for you. Check through these questions. Uh, simply do this to help you uh, to revise in your free time. Yes. Uh, these questions are very good for you. For more revision, check these questions. Get your time. These questions will help you to understand properly uh, this topic of germination. Yes. So uh, having come to the end of our lesson, you, you are properly able actually or guided to go through this work. Uh, on uh, another tension, have more questions, you'll be following us uh, on uh, our websites, check on, uh, on BTN website, check always watch BTN TV whenever we are there, okay? Check YouTube, uh, YouTube, you'll be getting these videos and you watch them. Keep also uh, on uh, school website, Wisdom Center website, you'll be getting these questions. And then uh, you can also access WhatsApp group, okay? If you can easily check on us, you get them, you can easily use those questions for revision. This will help you uh, to back up yourself, to be steady. Please remember, uh, even if the time is added here, yeah, this is actually for your advantage that you're going through this work. By the time you come back to school, you'll be steady. And the teachers won't be saying, why don't you, why I'm not do A, B, C, D. He will be a pupil who is able to handle, work properly, yes, guided by your teacher, uh, science teacher, teacher Mwesuga Mgwabosko, will keep helping you, guiding you through this time. Uh, stay well, stay safe, keep home. We are there for you. Thank you.